Hi, my name is Patrick and this video is to tell you how to prepare for con section if you're starting from August 23. Now, this is a four series video. The first was a general video which talked about general preparation as to how to go about it. This is for con. Next video will be for DLI and the last video will be for verbal section. Been training students for more than 20 years and done well with different exams. Uh, basically, uh, training students for CAT and the other exams. Okay, overall, the preparation schedule, I mean, talking about pre preparing for uh, August onwards, I would say 50 days, maybe approximately 50 days. I mean, your total 110 days, let's say. So, 50 days should be to complete your syllabus. And then two months should be to practice and mocks. That's how you're brought. More time for mocks because that is more important to help you improve practice and mocks. And less time for syllabus. I'll come to a reason why. I mean, as when I explain to you, I'll tell you a reason why syllabus should not be given too much time and why more time for practice and mocks. So, yes, it has, as I said, 50 days for syllabus, and you should technically give two to three hours a day for con section. We're talking about mathematics section only out here. So, approximately two to three hours a day for the con section so that you can complete in 50 days. And get allotted certain days. But uh, the reason I'm telling you to complete in 50 days and only give two days for profit and loss, two days for personal, less days for each topic is because when you start writing mocks, there's a higher chance that you may feel, oh, these are topics I find tough. I may leave it for option. So in that case, your preparation earlier, if you go for depth and you don't understand is a waste of time because your preparation fine tuning will happen in the second stage. That means the idea in the first stage should be to try to complete a syllabus as fast as possible so that you know which areas you're comfortable with, which areas you're not. And then accordingly, in the second stage, you can more focus on those areas. Because I've known students who said, okay, I find mathematics very difficult. Let me just focus on arithmetic or let me leave geometry and look at other topics. So that means you will then do focus preparation and try to improve your score accordingly at that point of time. So in right now, in the first stage, don't go into depth into each topic. I mean, every day, just try to solve a few sums from whatever topics that you want to study. Just from the fundamentals. And then maybe in the second stage, then you can try to go into a little bit more deeper in terms of areas that you want to focus on. Don't spend too much time. Again, I repeat, don't spend too much time per topic uh, so that you know as to, uh, you can complete a solid syllabus in a given time frame just to be familiar with the different topics which I had had. So yes, when I'm talking about, let's say two days of averages, try to spend these two days on solving simple sums or basic sums so that you're familiar with the topic. That's the basic idea of it. So over a period of time, you would be able to understand which topic you're comfortable, which topic you're not, right? How to prepare? Ideally, try to solve few sums before you go to theory. That's what I normally say, because that helps you to think better and then go to a theory. Once you go to a theory, then solve a few sums. So you have two days, maybe first day you can solve, go to a theory and solve a few sums. Second day, focus on solving sums. Do some that are comfortable with it. Don't go to very tough sums. Because me, most probably in the examination, if the sums are very tough, you may actually leave it. Also, if you come across a topic which you find very difficult, don't do it in the first stage. Skip it off. I mean, try to focus on topics that you feel you're comfortable and you can practice on those. Also, recommended that you practice do calculation 10 to 15 minutes every day. Helps. I mean, calculation. Though in a CAT, you have an online calculator, but it helps to be decent at calculation. Not too tough a calculation. Maybe two-digit calculation should do. Right. I hope this helps. Again, we will have one more video on DLR and one more video on verbal. Hope that will help you with regards to your prep. Thank you.